Hey y'all, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm. We're out here. I'm with my new friend, Katie, from Ladies Homestead. That's- Ladies Farm. Ladies Farm. I, I keep wanting to say homestead. Well, I met her yesterday along with her husband and they are awesome, phenomenal people that like me, they seem to be workaholics. Also found out that she can back a trailer better than I can. Working See, on didn't it. notice, <laughs> I noticed that. She, she can back a trailer better than I can. The cool thing is about, the cool thing about what's going on today is we're out mutually helping so the land move. Now she's related by blood or- My husband. Your husband is. Mm -hmm. And I'm related by friendship. So either way, it's kind of cool that we can mutually assist one another in a number of things and at the same time meet pretty cool, awesome people. Well, I didn't know until yesterday that she has a, a uh, YouTube channel, which I was binge watching last night. So <laughs> hopefully I'm not gonna mess up this whole interview. Anyway, her story and her husband's story and how their genesis and where they are today is astonishing. And it was a joy for me yesterday to hear a little bit about it. So I wanna share some of that with y'all today. So why don't you tell us where you are, where you came from and how you wound up in this lifestyle? Well, we are currently in Eastern Kentucky. We are in a hundred acres and it's a lot of mountain. We do have some flat land, about seven acres of it is flat and the rest is uh, mountains on the north and the south side of us. Um, beautiful area. We came from Northern California, sorry, Southern California. And that's where we grown up. That's where we were raised. Um, Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> He's, in fact, I'm going to turn mine off right now too because that happens all the time and he, yeah, we, he's used to it. <laughs> My bad. I Isn't that right, off. son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So, um, yeah, we were born and raised, both my husband and I, um, in Southern California. We actually went to school together from kindergarten up through uh, high school and we just kind of had this mutual feeling of growing, you know, growing a little bit in the, the house and in the backyard. We were on uh, 8,000 square feet of a property in Southern California. And then we, uh, we turned our whole front yard into like an orchard and a garden area. And that's where we did a lot of our, our growing because our backyard was nothing but a pool and um, cement. So we went ahead and, and did that and that's where we got started. And then when his cousin moved to North Carolina and they started their homesteading, we we're like, hmm, this is really interesting. So we kind of delved into that with YouTube and, and found out a lot about it, really liked it. And last year with the whole COVID and things in California, it was going to the grocery store and finding the shelves were completely empty. We couldn't buy um, meat, we couldn't find any produce, everything was gone. And it really made us think like, we need to be self-sustainable with our own food and for our family. So we started looking into property and we decided to take a tour out here. Uh, we were gonna come visit, so the land also, um, Lorraine's parents in Georgia. We wanted to stop and visit them. We are really, really considering Tennessee. That's where we wanted to go. We fell in love with Tennessee, but our realtor in Kentucky actually grabbed a hold of us and he said, nope, this is gonna be your home. You're gonna love it here. And sure enough, he brought us to this property and we fell in love instantly. Put in an offer, offer was accepted and then went through and sold our property in California, moved, we had. Let me back you up a little bit there, mm -hmm. Katie, because you, if I understand you right, you went from literally the entire lot of being 8,000 square feet to- 100 acres. 100 acres. Yes. Now for most people that is daunting. In fact, to go from that to a single acre, yeah. I remember to a lot of friends that I have in Massachusetts, they thought a half acre was extraordinary. How did you, was it tough to make that transition? It was, it was and it wasn't. Um, we knew we needed a lot of acreage because we had a lot of plans. We wanted to have sheep, we want to have goats, we want to have cows, more chickens. I want a huge garden space so I can grow as much food as I can so I can can it. And I also want to get in the farmer's market um, just to kind of help supplement the income because now I don't work anymore. My husband, he still works. So I want to be able to supplement as much. But of, prior to that, you were yeah. both working. You prior, told me like yeah. two and a half jobs. Yeah, I'm a nurse. Right. So I went from working over 40 plus hours a week. My husband, he was working overtime. 
just to make ends meet in California. It's very expensive to live there. Wow, so you were able to make that transition from 8,000 square feet to 100 acres to both of you working a lot of overtime to now. So you're, you're basically giving a lot of people hope out there. All of you out there that are reaching out to me saying, hey, um, how do I make this life work? I came from A, B, C, or D. How do I possibly do this? Well, you're hearing it, and this is why I really wanna showcase what she's got going on, and we're, we're gonna put a link right up there. Please check them out. Yeah. Because I was sitting there watching last night, <laughs> pruning, I mean, she's pruning trees like the way I taught y'all how to do it. <laughs> and she's doing it in a pretty cool, awesome way. So um, it seems like it seems like you're getting to the point where, well, not just getting to the point, in a very short period of time, you went from that lifestyle out yeah. there and it seems almost seamlessly that you made the transition into country life, is it? We've only been there nine months. <laughs> and it's astonishing because you've even had woofers out there helping. Yes. You've built a homestead and you do so many awesome cooking things on your channel that I'm just yeah. honestly floored by it. I was hoping you brought some of that to eat today. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and the pigs, I mean, that's all new to us. We've never done pigs. So, we've so got, right out of the gates, right out of the gate. they are doing it all, y'all. So definitely check them out. I'm kind of getting overtures from the people that are off camera that you can't see that it looks like they're about to go to work. And I wanted, I'm doing a very, very small snapshot. Now there was one video that kind of encapsulates yes. your entire, what video, if we were to direct them to that, which one should they see first? Because I, I didn't know where to start. And I thought just your intro video was yeah. fantastic. Is that a good place? Or is it the say, one where it's an encapsulation? I would say probably start off, we bought a, a farm. Uh, we bought a hundred acre farm as our very first one that we did. And then we did a recap of 2021 where we just kind of throw everything that we did in this whole past year of getting our homestead up and running and what we've done um, on the property. So that would be definitely the second one to do. And that's the 2021 recap. Y'all, these are awesome people. And it was a joy to hang out with them yesterday. And then seeing some folks out there mixing it up as much as I can. And then seeing the lady that can back a trailer better than I can. So, uh, yeah, hey, it's been... I drove the U-Haul, the 26 foot U-Haul. So. And, oh, and there was also, there was also a mishap that maybe we'll cover in future videos, hopefully, oh, yeah. but it looks like these folks are wanting to get to work. I wanted to pin her off, off to the side and get this interview in before we got started. So remember, check them out. If you need anything, check out the website. Remember the description box down below. Also, Check them out once again because they're doing some pretty cool and astonishing stuff. Until next time, this is Billy and Katie with me from Permapastures Farm, but we're out at Sow the Land today. We'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.